everyone, welcome back to Twister Sister Studios. I'm Holly the Twister Sister and today I'm going to show you how to make an adorable little gift bag holder balloon reindeer. It's perfect for giving people gifts this holiday season that come in a bag. I recently did a little workshop with my members inside the Twister Hood and I shared all different kinds of ideas and ways that you could present gifts and spice them up with a little pop of balloons. And so there's a lot of great ideas in there and this was one of the ideas that I shared but I did it with a little snowman character holding the gift bag. And today I wanna to share with you guys how to make a reindeer gift holder. So for this design, you're gonna need two brown 260s and then also a blush color for the antlers. And I've also got a red five inch round for the nose. If you don't have these though, um, you can always use a red 260 scrap. And then you just need a little gift in a bag. So this is what I'll be using today. This is just some homemade potpourri that I made, which is a fun little DIY gift that you can give to others. But you could also fill these bags with cookies or candy, bath salts, bath bombs, um, anything that you can kind of put in one of these fun little bags for Christmas. And they do have some really nice little decorative ones that have like snowflakes and sparkles and stuff printed on them. And those would be great for this as well. This is just what I had on hand. And so this is what I'm using. I'm going to start with the antlers so that we have them made and ready to go when it's time to incorporate them into our design. So I'm just blowing up this balloon till there's about a four inch tail. Burp it a little bit. And then however you like to do your antlers design. For this guy, I'm gonna do a longer two to three inch bubble, a smaller loop. And then we're gonna come down. I'm just gonna make a little placeholder twist. We're gonna do another bubble the same size as that one. And you can let go of that placeholder for now. We'll put it back later. And then I'm gonna do another little loop and we'll finish off with a matching bubble to this one over here on the end and you can get rid of the rest. Now I'm gonna grab my brown balloon for the reindeer body and I've left about a three to four inch tail on here as well. We're gonna start with his nose. So I'm just gonna fold my balloon over to make a loop and we'll grab that knot and twist and pull it through to lock it in place. Now I wanna give this reindeer some ears cause I've done a lot of reindeer in the past and I always forgot to give them ears. <laughs> and so now I always see reindeer, I'm like, oh, he needs ears. <laughs> so we're gonna come up about an inch or so, just make a little twist. And then we're gonna do two loops. These loops are going to be the ears. So just two loops right beside each other. So we should have that. And then we're gonna come back down. So another bubble here, the same size as this one, or you can just twist those together. All right, so you should line everything up like this. So it's kind of looking very dog-like at the moment, and that's okay. What we're gonna do next is take our antlers, and we're gonna put that placeholder twist back in the middle here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna twist my antlers into the ears here, so just Go around one time there. And you don't need to worry if they're not facing the right direction at that this point, that's okay. We're gonna get everything how we want it first. So for this next step, you wanna make sure everything is lined up like this. So you have your loop, your two bubbles directly above it, your ears and your antlers, everything's kind of facing forward. All right, what we're gonna do is take our remaining balloon. It's gonna come to the front. Give it a good squeeze before you do this part. And it's gonna come up over the top in between those antlers. We're not gonna twist it in, we're just pulling it over the top like this. And then once you get back to the loop at the base here, we're gonna twist it all together. So this is kind of a fun new way that I've been doing um, heads for critters like deer that have antlers or horns or something on top and they also need ears and I don't want to have to break balloons off and do extra pieces to make those ears. We just do it all in one go like this. So now we need to bring in our second brown balloon. I've got one ready right here. It's got about a two to three inch tail and we're gonna connect this into the base of the head. So just Wrap that nozzle around a couple places to lock it in. 
we want to do is make some longer arms that could go around our gift bag and hold on to it. So I've got uh, my shorter balloon that's left over here and the new one here. This shorter one looks like it has just about enough balloon to perfectly make some little arms. So I'm going to use this one. So what I'm going to do is twist it right about in the middle here. And then I'll have just enough to twist off a little bubble here at the end. So these are going to be the two arms and I've got a little bubble here that will just kind of, we'll put it right at the back of the head to help hold the head up straight. So I'm going to twist all that together here. Now we have that. So we've got long arms for deer, but long, deer have long legs. <laughs> And they're going to be coming out once we get our gift bag and everything in there. So now we're going to do his body and his bottom legs, which will kind of make the base of this little thing that's going to stand up on its own. So I'm going to come and we're going to do a three bubble body. So make your first bubble about a hot dog's length. Come back up into the neck, twist, and we're going to go back down one more time. So a third bubble here, and I'm going to go ahead and do the roll through on this guy. And what we want to end up happening is these arms kind of open up and one of those bubbles kind of comes forward. So there's these two bubbles in the back and this one is going to turn into like his chest and it'll come forward. And what we're going to do is give his arms a little bend, squeeze where the elbow would be. And then he'll be able to hold on to our little gift bag. All right, so let's finish the legs, which is going to make the base of this so he can sit up on a table on his own. So first, for some stability, he's going to need a tail. So I'm going to do just a small loop. And before I twist it, I'm going to squeeze it and kind of roll it forward to give it a little bloop, a little flip of a deer tail. They're short tails, but they kind of flip up, you know? <laughs> And then I'm going to do a little pinch twist after that. So we have our loop and then a bubble here. This bubble will become a pinch twist. Okay, so we're getting like a nice flat bottom. And then however long you want his legs to be, I'm going to do about, come out to about where the arms are. So there's one and two. We'll bring that back all in together. And then whatever you have left here, we can get rid of that. Now with these little back legs on the bottom, you kind of want to open them up and give them a squeeze, bend the knees. <laughs> That'll give them a little more stability to sit up when we put the little gift in his arms. But first, since we don't want this looking, it's kind of, I'm seeing like teddy bear vibes. Um, so we need to give him a red nose. Of course you could do a black nose as well. Um, but I like the red and it's, really fun if you want to put one of the little um, balloon ball lights inside of the nose to make it light up that makes this even more special i'm just going to do a regular red five inch round barely put any air in there because we don't want the nose to take up the whole face so just a little lollipop size and we're going to take the nozzle of that and come down through our nose loop and then come just straight to the back of the head and wrap it around, tuck it inside the body to hide it. So I'm going to go ahead and draw the eyes on at this point, just so right now we don't have any gifts or anything in the way and I can just focus on drawing. So you can see the face on our little reindeer, just some simple oval eyes and some little white dots to highlight it. And then I also added a little bit of sparkle shine on the red nose. Okay, so now all you have to do is get yourself a little gift in a bag. You can go to the store and buy some shortbread cookies that are already decorated if you don't like cooking things yourself. And I just put a little 160 bow on the top to tie it off, wrapped it around. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the top of this and it's gonna come in his arms. So we're just gonna slide it up through the arm loops. And then just take a moment to straighten everything out and then look how cute is that little gift. 
This is an adorable way to add some perceived value to whatever gift you're giving your friends and family this year. So maybe you're just doing simple stuff. Times are hard right now. Everything is expensive. So maybe you're doing some DIY, make it at home things. Um, so the hardest part about doing DIY gifts is packaging them, right? Because you want it to look special and not so homemade. <laughs> Um, and this is a great way to add some fun flair, add that personal customization element um, that they can really see that you took time and effort to make this gift for them and not only make them a fun, nice gift that they'll wanna keep, but also present it in a really fun, unique way that they probably will not be getting from anybody else this year. And this is so fun because if, if your item even just has a little bit of weight to it in here, that will help this design stand up on a table. And so it can sit up on its own and looks really cute. Could also be great little party favors. Um, have a bunch of these all set up on a table. You could do different characters. Again, in our Twister Hood membership this month, I taught how to do the snowman version of this idea, plus a whole lot of other fun ways to dress up your gifts and gifts bags this year for the holidays. If you're not a part of the Twister Hood and you're thinking about joining us, I have to tell you, right now is the absolute best time there has ever been to join the membership unless you got in as a founding member at the very beginning um, but since that is long gone at this point right now we've got some amazing incentives for new members who sign up they get some actual goodies in the mail as a sign up bonus during our Black Friday membership drive, which is going on now, but it's going to be ending at the end of this week on Friday. So if you're not a member yet, you've been thinking about whether you should join, maybe you wanna revamp your business in the new year or start one or grow your business bigger than you've ever had it. Let's face it, we all need some extra income uh, right now these days. So if you have any sort of motivation to improve or grow what you're doing with your balloon twisting skills get out of the hobby zone and get into the pro zone uh, the twister hood is exactly what that was made to help with it's all the business resources guides templates printouts graphics, clip art, and member exclusive tutorials that I wished I would have had when I was starting and running my own balloon business back in Texas. It's one of those resources that's actually way, way more valuable than what you actually pay for it. Uh, but because there's so many people in our community, we can offer it to everyone at a low price and that covers the cost of everything for everyone. However, I will say, after this membership drive is over for this Black Friday special, the price of membership will be going up. But if you get in now before our sale is over, you'll be locked in at the price that you came in on. And as long as you stay a member, you will retain that price forever. So if you're looking to get in, lots of incentive to join now. Price lock in membership goodies and incentives that we've never offered before so go uh, check out the link in the description below you can check out every all the details about joining us and see exactly what kind of fun stuff is awaiting you inside the twister hood i would love to see what kind of little gifts you guys are going to make with this tutorial this week what kind of little presents or DIY ideas you came up with to bag up and balloon up for your friends and family this holiday season. Please share photos of what you make with this tutorial this week over in our free Facebook group. You can join us. The link is below this video. It's a free group to join and every week we all post pictures of the design of the week and everyone has their own little twist or different take on it or they change the colors or do something creative and totally new that I never would have thought of and sometimes I kick myself for. Uh, but it's a really fantastic balloon group to be a part of. It's great for newbies and seasoned pros alike. So I will be over there hanging out with you guys on Facebook until next Tutorial Tuesday when I'll be back here on YouTube for another free balloon tutorial for you guys. Until then, happy twisting, everyone. Bye-bye.